Hey guys, it's Carla. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting a pig. This is a very easy, simple painting. And if you want the outline, you can look in the description below and you'll find a link to my Facebook page. And I've got all my outlines on there. So um, I've already painted the background with the reddish color. Um, I think this one's called spiced berry, but just some some kind of reddish color. And then with a palette knife, I'm using white and um, very, very loosely filling in the background. I wanna leave some of that red showing through. So just kind of uh, turn your knife in different directions so that you don't get any patterns and just kind of scrape it on there. As you'll notice, I'm not being real careful around, around the outline. So just be very loose with it. I'm using um, an eight by 10 canvas panel. Um, you could use any size, but, um, or you could use a different surface. Uh, a lot of farm animal paintings are painted on wood, so you could do that. But, um, but these canvases are just, they're very inexpensive and, and easy to find. So I'm just using black now, just plain black to uh, fill in the black areas. But I'm again, I'm doing it very loosely and not real solid. I like to leave a lot of that background showing through throughout the whole painting. So, and I'm just using a little cheap flat brush for this. So now with raw sienna. I'm filling in where I see that color. And as you can see, I'm just using craft paint for this. <coughs> and you could change this some, um, like, make it different colors like the pig could be instead of the black you could use like a reddish brown or something this is just a a guide to show you how to do this so you can always change things up a little bit now with this pink, I'm just, again, loosely, very loosely, all of this is very loose, um, filling this in and not covering up all the background. So then I wanna dry it real well. And now with it dry, you can put that white on top of it. And again, don't cover up everything and keep your brush strokes going in the direction of the pig's hair. So um, just very short, choppy strokes. Now, if you do this on wood, you can um, just kind of stand it somewhere by itself. If you do it on this canvas, then you can either stand it, leaning it against a wall or something, or um, fasten a string to the back of it and hang it. Or you can frame it because these fit in an eight by 10 frame or in a larger frame with a mat. That's why I'm I've changed the things that I'm painting now. I'm, I, 
I'm trying to stick with paintings that that you would want to decorate with instead of just skill type paintings. I want to paint fun things that you can actually use. Uh, and guys, if you're liking my content, my videos, my channel, please subscribe and give the videos a thumbs up if you like them. I need to know what what you guys like. And if you'll comment and let me know what maybe you want me to paint, I'll be glad to work on that for you. So now I'm just putting in some highlights, uh, some gray highlights in the black areas. Just to give it some texture and dimension. So I'm just using the skinny part of the brush to do that. And just step back away from it and and see if it needs anything else. If you step away from it, you can get a better look at it. Maybe walk away from it and come back. But I hope you like this, this very loose style of painting. Give it a try. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from it, and I hope that... Um, you get a chance to try it. God bless you and I hope you tune in next time.